I'm Oscar and I'm Dan and today we're in Sri Lanka country 82 we are two boys exploring the world one country at a time trying to see and learn as much as possible along the way after three weeks in our beloved Thailand it was time to head to our 82nd country of Sri Lanka so we're off to Bangkok to head to country 82 and until we see you guys next time see you around the world Hello, ladies and gentlemen from Suvarnabhumi Airport. The problems have already started because Sri Lanka has a health form that you need to submit with all your information, and then you're supposed to get a QR code over email. But Oscar got his QR code it's immediately, okay. and my QR code still hasn't come. And when I try to submit another form, it says passenger already registered. It's starting out fun. <laughs> we are flying straight from here to Colombo, and to enter Sri Lanka today, we need a PCR test, our vaccination certificate, and this health form. I understood about one fifth of what she was saying. I was like, hello. So we'll see, she says supposedly that I can get the QR code after I've landed. I go to some office, so this could be an adventure. So we checked in. Dan has been sad all day about leaving Thailand and now it's finally starting to sink in for me as well and I'm starting to get really sad. All day I was like, what's wrong with you? Why are you not sad? <laughs> but the emotions finally caught up with me. We said one of our last books in the So I'm just booking our hotel for tonight now. All right, it's booked. Now let's confirm our transfer. We're using this app called Get transfer, which we were recommended. We'll let you know what we think. I think someone is definitely trying to scam us because basically different drivers can offer different prices. This guy offered $2 for a two hour ride, which I think is not so much. Let's do this one. $55 for two hours, 4.6 stars. Massive van. Okay. I'd say almost more than anywhere else, being here, knowing how crazy busy Subarnapumi Airport usually is, it's dead. It's very eerie. And here's the new gates. They built a terminal extension, which never got to open. Here you would take the train to the gates, but don't need them now. Well, this is depressing. This ended up being uh, the best solution. <laughs> Fancy airport food realness. <laughs> Basically, nothing in the entire terminal is open and the lounge didn't have great food, so this is what we got. We've right. had, I don't think we've had Subway in like three years. Yeah, like probably. <laughs> All right. Let us know. How is mm. it? The veggie sandwich. The sweet onion dressing is good, though. Yeah, I know. Finally heading to the plane. Yeah. We're flying Sri Lankan Airlines today and it's actually really good. The seat is really comfortable and we are sitting in the emergency exit row and we have a lot of like Plenty of space. Score! Entering in half hour time zone for the first time since leaving India about three years ago. We made it to Sri Lanka country 82. We just landed and I bought my QR code. <laughs> Good to go. And this is greeting hey. us right now. I'm scared. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. I was getting so used to the comfortable Thailand temperature. We're screwed. It is hot! This is so funny. Our driver asked us to buy him scotch, I think. Five or six bottles of scotch. Our driver who we ordered on Get Transfer. We're like, sure, we'll do you a favor. I assume he'll reimburse us. Here's the scotch. I'm sort of curious what we're gonna do about that. We're yeah, and see, it's quite expensive. I think this is what he wants. <laughs> Apparently he wants five of them. So we're getting him five bottles for 64 bucks. Oh my God. Do you have like a basket? We've literally never gone duty-free shopping like this after landing. And we never buy alcohol for that matter. We never buy alcohol. This is the first time I've bought alcohol in like five years or something. Three bottles. That's all that they allowed us to get as non-citizens. In Sweden, we can only buy alcohol at like the state in Italy. And I've been there once 
and I bought an alcohol free drink. So. <laughs> Alright, we got it. Woo, we made it. Is there an ATM? Maybe we should look for that. I can already tell, not ready for this. <laughs> Need to acclimatize. It is so hot. Okay. Here it is. Yes, that's our guy. <laughs> we found her. Hello. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry we couldn't get more. <laughs> that was illegal in it. Oh, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> wow, red carpet. <laughs> Amazing. All right, we'll see how much we vlog in the car. See you in uh, Gale when we arrive. If we don't stop for food, I hope we stop for food. <laughs> We're stopping along the way. First time out of the car. We're heading into the supermarket, which we always love to do in different countries. Yeah. I'm curious what this means. No, the word folks. I don't think I'm in Doha. Well, let's see. Oh yeah, the first ingredient is fresh cow's milk. <laughs> so not really. Huh, but here, there's soy milk, almond milk, that's it. Not bad though for like a roadside supermarket in uh, Sri Lanka. Look, they even have soya meat. Tons of different brands, wow. This seems to be a huge thing here, I guess, because there are so many vegetarians. Good morning, guys. Wow, yesterday we were just so exhausted that we just went straight to bed as soon as we got to the hotel, so didn't vlog anything. But here we are, it's the day after, and we have a twist. <laughs> A very East meets West breakfast with dal, coconut sambal, some uh, curry chickpeas, sort of, some sweet potato, tomato, and baked beans, and a great view. <laughs> Here's the actual view, though, and it's not too bad either. This dal kind of tastes like if you were to mix an Indian dal with a Thai coconut milk curry. It's honestly so, so good. It's like a more tropical version of a dal, I guess. So the twist from yesterday is that the driver that we had from the airport, we ended up befriending him and then he offered to uh, do this trip fully with us. So we're going to spend the whole week with him. So say hi to Samir. Hello. Hi. This is perfect because we had pretty much no idea what we were going to do. We knew kind of the plan, but we didn't know exactly how to get to each place. So this is going to make it a whole lot easier. We're about to withdraw money to pay our guide. And uh, now the ATM just swallowed our car. <laughs> so we're trying to get it back. Things took a twist. And now what do you have to do? You have to email your passport? I have to email a photo of my passport. <laughs> but it seems like it's quite easy to open the ATM. So we hope for the best. It's just another fun hiccup along the way. Uh, one week. One week. Your audition? Uh, yes, first time in Sri Lanka. Is it? Is it? Yeah. How was it? Only this is yesterday. our first day. So. Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah. Already but it's very nice so far. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Can I get it? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Got it back. That was a 15 minute unnecessary adventure. <laughs> We are starting our trip in Galle, which is where actually where our driver is from. We were originally only planning to do an overnight here, but he convinced us to stay for two nights. So today we're exploring the area and we are starting with a boat safari. Wow, this is a big river slash lake almost. Yeah, tons of islands. Thank you. Hello. Yeah, standing here now. Total now island 64. I feel like this life vest was exactly what I don't need oh, in this an extra layer of really thick clothing. <laughs> Are we going on London Queen or Tokyo Queen? <laughs> I'm more of a Tokyo Queen myself, but it seems like we're going on unnamed Queen. You are a London Queen because that's where you were born. I know, but I feel more at home. No, I don't know. <laughs> Cut. Settled in, good to, go. good to go. I'm really looking forward to the breeze we're gonna get from going on this boat. Gotta get that sun protection. <laughs> oh, okay. We're putting up the roof. Thankfully there was a roof. so nice. Okay, let me move over. Yes.
heading back into the mangroves, ready for some shade and whatever animals <laughs> will be here. If you watch our Thailand vlog, you saw we went into mangroves by ourselves on kayaks, but this is much nicer to be with other people who do this often, so we don't have to be so scared. <laughs> who knows what's lurking down there? Wow. Titanic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Head down. Ah. Uh, uh, uh. Made it. So we're helping these guys out? Yeah, they need them somehow if we don't quite know that. Anyone want to go shopping? This is better than Venice. The shop is only for tourists apparently, it's not like a local ah, yeah. store or anything. <laughs> okay, getting off here. Oh, it's so peaceful here. <laughs> Doing good? <laughs> so interesting because this feels kind of like a mix between a Buddhist and a Hindu temple, which I mean, I guess makes sense for Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka is a majority Buddhist country as opposed to India, which is of course majority uh, Hindu. Look how beautiful the Singhala script is. So beautiful. Love it. All these statues are supposed to uh, represent monks uh, walking around in the morning to collect. What, what do you call it? He said in Pindapate. In Pindapate. 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 Okay. okay. He said these days they drive around in SUVs and they all have cell phones. So it's a bit different these days from what it used to be like. It's beautiful here, but I can't wait to go into the mountains. It's so hot. then made our way to an island where one of Sri Lanka's main exports is grown. So we are on a cinnamon island. They grow cinnamon here. We're gonna learn oh, how it works. Okay. You have cinnamon leaves? Yeah, they don't really smell, smell like cinnamon, cinnamon right? Hey, hey, cinnamon is still clean. Thank you. Okay, the bark smells like cinnamon. Like a lot. <laughs> super strong and like more natural. Yeah, it smells so good. Oh, Hi. <laughs> Ah, oh, thank you. Wow, very nice. And here we have the cinnamon stick. It's just right inside the bark. And then they dry it like that, like up there. Uh, and that's how it becomes the kind of cinnamon that we know. We bought this cinnamon powder for 300 rupees and when we get back to Sweden we are making cinnamon buns for Christmas. Mm, with the Sri Lankan <laughs> twist to yeah. our Swedish cinnamon buns. Hi! Ps, ps, ps. Hey! Oh, no! Hi! Oh. No! Oh my heart! Oh. That's it for the boat ride. On to the next stop. We had lunch after that, then we went back to the hotel to relax a little bit, and now we're out in Gala Fort. Which I didn't realize, or we didn't realize that it's like a full-on town within the fort. Inside there's like a whole city.
it's our first day in Sri Lanka and Dan has already managed to get curry on his shoes. Living the Desi life. <laughs> This was originally a Portuguese fort and then the Dutch sort of kicked them out and took it over and rebuilt it. And that's the current form in which it stands, but then the British came here and Sri Lanka became a British colony. It's been independent since 1948. The thing that surprises me the most, we were in Thailand right before this. There were almost no Westerners. There's so many foreigners here in Sri Lanka. They're like, what is everyone doing here? I don't know why I'm surprised, but somehow I am. Sort of torn about this weather. On the one hand, it's terrible for photos and a little bit gloomy. But on the other hand, we're already dying from the heat. My weather app says it feels like 34 Celsius. The humidity is already enough to like so <laughs> kill <off> the us. Charts. <laughs> It's really so weird walking around here in Gala Fort because there's so many foreigners. I haven't felt this in a place that felt exotic. I hate to use that word, but I haven't felt this in a place that felt exotic to us since COVID, you know? There were never so many like Westerners. Yeah, that's true. There was a group of four Danish girls who were chatting on. I was like, this is weird. <laughs> we were like, hi, fui, <laughs> So we found a guy, he managed to convince us to buy something because he spoke Swedish. I think he we found us. You. I mean, it's pretty insane. He spoke it well. Too. He did, yeah. Yeah, really so amazing. we're gonna have him speak some Swedish on camera. So they had a yeah, please. Can you say enough for friends? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Travel like a trip fast. Yeah. Yeah. Who more do? Yeah, I tell her since car. What pro to the fun, bro? Yeah, I hate a gift free. I hate a do. Don, don. Travel like a trip fast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> From one major tourist site down there to the next. Beautiful. Oh my god, it's so slippery. It just rained. There's Gala Fort. Since we just came from Thailand, we went from one Buddhist country to another majority Buddhist country. There are two very different Buddhist countries. It always looks so weird when it's this type of weather on camera. It looks super uninviting and horrible. You know, in person, in a place like this, it's still so bright and I see like a tropical storm. There's something especially about tropical storms and tropical clouds that just make me and Oscar so happy. Maybe it's positive associations with it, I don't know, but it's just so beautiful. You really get to see like nature at its most powerful, you know? So after a very intense day, we are finishing it off here on the beach. It's gonna feel very nice to get in the water. We didn't bring towels, so I am changing in here <laughs> in this like little alleyway. <laughs> 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 and guy number two. Daylight. Hi, Oscar. That beach was amazing. Honestly, the water was so hot. It was clean. We're just exhausted. It's been a day in the heat, a day touristing around. I just see fire outside our room. Anyway, we're gonna head to have some dinner in our hotel. And then tomorrow we start the adventure at 6 a.m. when we're heading across the country. And Oscar is editing. Brazil videos still going strong. <laughs> Next time on Oscar and Dan. We're not gonna show our faces because no. then the price is gonna be a lot higher. Every time I have a coconut now, Kim Petras plays in my mind. Got the safari car going. <gasps> oh, oh my god! Oh. <laughs>